And watching you take care of Nicole meant a lot to Dad, too. I really wish I didn't have to be the person to give this speech at your wedding. I wish Dad could be here. I know he's here in spirit. And I don't know, you know how attending a wedding from heaven works or anything like that. But what I do know is that what he's seeing is two people that he loves immensely. He sees two people that he is extremely proud of in everything that you guys have done. And he's seeing two lives that are joined as one. And I bet he can't wait to see where life takes you both. And I know he'd have a lot of wisdom for you guys that he would share a speech like this and about a happy and successful marriage. I know the two of you are going to do great, but I'll, I'll share one thing. When it comes to your marriage, ask yourself the following thing. Do I want to be happy or do I want to be right? So, with that being said, Braden, you're probably going to be happy a lot. Nicole, on this day, I take you to be my wife. I promise God and I promise you that I will always treat you with honor and respect. I will be your rock in times of hardship. I promise to protect you and provide for you with every fiber of my being. I will cherish our marriage each and every day and I will love you more each day than I did the day before. I will be your eternal companion in this earthly life and in our afterlife in heaven. Nicole, I give you my heart, my love, my everything, today and for all of eternity. How do I to begin to sum up eight years of memories, laughs, cries, highs, and lows into one quick paragraph? You've been my rock, my confidant, my best friend, and my heaven on earth for the better part of my life. Thinking of how far we've come and how every little moment has led us to where we are now is incredible. We have grown so much together and navigated through some of life's biggest chapters and challenges hand in hand. The way you handled the loss of my dad and the genuine ability you had in being there for not only me, but my family, solidified that you were the one. I knew for a long time that you were my forever, but facing that hardship together made me realize how much comfort, support, and love you're capable of giving me when times are tough. I promise to do the same for you through tough times and hope that you know I will always be your biggest fan, the most loyal teammate, and most importantly, a wife that respects and loves you. I will always be dedicated to being the best wife and best friend that I can to you. I love you forever, Thomas Braden Sims, and can't wait to take on forever with you. I think marriage is the most sacred of thin places, the place where God shows up most tangibly, most sensually, most real, a place of unconditional love, sacrificial servanthood, unquestionable security, really profound bliss. When it's done right, your marriage is a thin place. So, Braden, this is your opportunity. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Ha ha ha!